Hello again, you guys. It's Miss Miller, and we're going to start working on this mechanical equilibrium worksheet one. So again, mechanical equilibrium is all your forces are balanced. That means that all of the up forces have to equal all of the down forces. Um, down forces. Um, so let's just look at a few examples together, and then you're going to have a few that you are responsible for. And then you will follow up with some questions all over your notes. So here we have um, Nellie Newton, and for each of these, we're supposed to write what the scale reading should read. It says, Nellie Newton wishes to be a gymnast and hangs from a variety of positions as shown. Since she is not accelerating, the net force on her is zero. And right now, we haven't really went over acceleration, but that's just a change. And remember, we're looking at changes in motion to help us determine whether it's in equilibrium or not. There should be no change in motion. Sorry. Love me some frozen. Okay. Um, she weighs 300 newtons. That's going to be the key number for this exercise. So here, if Earth is pulling her down with 300 newtons, then it makes sense that there's one scale here. The scale should read 300 newtons. In this case, um, the Earth is still pulling her down with 300, but there are two scales to support her weight. So you can pretty much go ahead and um, determine what that is. Each one is going to have half of her weight of 300. They're going to work together to balance out. So this one's pulling up with 150, and this one's pulling up with 150. Now, if I were drawing, drawing these as true vectors, I would need to draw them to size um, or to scale. Remember, a vector, the magnitude is important. So... We have 300 here for her weight. And then I would need to draw arrows about half the size pointing up for 150 and 150 on this picture here. Okay, so this time we have three upward vectors supporting this 300 downward vector. So this should be 100. Very good. Okay, uh, let's go through this one. What should this be? So if we have 300 down, now the scales don't have a weight, okay? Um, we can ignore their weight. It's negligible. So if this scale is supporting her weight, then it's going to read... 300 newtons. And if this scale is supporting her weight, and remember we said this weight was negligible, this one should also read 300. So even if you have your scales stacked on top of each other like that, you're still reading the main weight there. Okay, let's look at this one. Here her arms are vertical, which indicates that her weight is evenly distributed. So we had 300 newtons downward. So some of her weight is supported right here and some of her weight is in uh, this ring. And since it looks like she's evenly distributed, this should be 150 newtons. Alrighty now. Uh, this one's a little tricky because we have all kinds of stuff going on here, but guess what? That doesn't matter. I am only interested in what the scale itself is supporting. So her weight is still 300 newtons down. So this scale has to pull up with how much? 300 newtons. Okay, let's look at this next bit. Number two. You should have this worksheet yourself and you should be doing it along with me along with this video. All right, so um, when Burl the painter stands in the exact middle of the staging, the left scale reads 600. Fill in the reading on the right scale. The total weight of Burl and the staging must be. Okay, so we know that if um, he's standing in the middle, then his weight and the weight of the beam 
are being divided in half. So if this is 600, this has to be 600. So the total weight of everything is what? 1,200 newtons. Okay, so using the same idea that we looked at with our skills lab and knowing that everything has to be in mechanical equilibrium, therefore all of the weights pulling down have to equal all of the weights pulling up or all of the forces pulling up, excuse me. We know that um, everything together, there is a downward force of 1,200. And if there is an upward force of 400 right here, then there must be a larger force over here. And so that's going to be 800 newtons. You know it's going to be 800 because 800 and 400 will balance out that 1,200 weight. Okay, now Burl is right at the edge here, so that's going to be, if this is zero newtons, then this scale is going to have to be holding all of the weight, so that would be 1,200 newtons. All right. So, here we have a problem that's very, very similar, talking about Manuel. Um, 1, 2, and 3, I'm actually going to skip. Um, we're going to look, because you guys will be turning those in, we're going to look at number 4 together. And I'm actually going to just zoom in here. If I can, I'll, ooh, that's way too much. Okay, number 4. So here we have a 1,000 Newton crate. That tells me how much the crate ways. Resting on a surface is connected to a 500 newton block. That tells me the weight of the block. I'm going to underline those. Um, through a frictionless pulley as shown. Friction between the crate and the surface is enough to keep the system at rest. Because it is at rest, what type of equilibrium is that? Good, that's static equilibrium. The arrows show the forces that act on the crate and the block fill in the magnitude of each force. Okay, um, let's go ahead by and do these weights here. The weight of the crate was given 1,000. So this force is directly opposite to that force and we know it's in static equilibrium. So if that's 1,000, that means this up force should also be 1,000 newtons. Okay, the weight of the block was given as 500, so let's go ahead and report that as 500 newtons. And so if this is 500, the tension that the string is supporting must also be 500 newtons. Now, if we were to take this string and maybe make it into one line, we would see that, well, what is pulling on this block? The weight of this is pulling on this block. So if the weight is 500 pulling on the block, then the tension, <clears throat> excuse me, is still 500 newtons. <coughs> um, now, it's still in equilibrium, so we have tension pulling to the right here, 500 newtons. So what should friction be? in order to keep it stable. 500 newtons. All right, number five, it says, if the crate and block in the preceding question move at a constant speed, the tension in the rope, uh, what do you think happens? Should be, is the same. The sliding system is then in dynamic equilibrium. Okay, I did most of this with you. It's going to be your job to go back and do numbers one, two, and three here. If you need any help, as always, just let me know. Talk to you guys later.